Hello and welcome to the second ever gaming beer review. Here you can see we have a can of Coors Light. Now the thing with Coors Light is you can buy it in bulk. Um, you probably look less of a cunt buying Coors Light than you do if you're buying like a massive crate of Carling or Foster's. Um, but to be honest, it's equally as bad. So anyway, we're going to look at the actual can to begin with. It says cause light on it. There's a bold statement at the top that says the world's most refreshing beer. I think that's utter garbage to be honest. And it says cold activated can. Now these are the cans where that bit there and there is white and it goes blue and it's cold enough so we can see this beer is cold enough um, it's four percent in alcoholic volume um, so it's basically like drinking piss and it's a 440 mil can um, does look like it gives us some history at the back two stage cold activated can for ice cold refreshment blah 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 yeah, so it's basically telling you to put it in the fridge and when it goes blue it's ready to drink. Um, ice cold Rocky Mountain refreshment. Coors Light is the light tasting premium beer. Now, can I just stop them there? I won't call this premium beer. Our Rocky Mountain Brewing Heritage delivers that crisp refreshing taste you can't find anywhere else. See, for me the issue with this beer is that it's uh, lacking in taste really. And it's made locally to me in Burton on Trent. So, uh, yeah, let's open this shower of shit up. Um, it has a bulge in the bottom, like Van Damme himself, him, himself has uh, kicked the shit out of this can. And we shall pour it into this calling can here, which I'll have to put the camera down to do. I would use my um, tripod, but. Unfortunately, I broke it and put the camera da put the glass down there so you can see a little bit of the beer going through. I can't see the viewfinder, so I don't know how that's gonna come out. Um, and as you're pouring it, it's not really got much of a a colour to it. And there we go. Four hundred and forty mils of Coors Light, allegedly the most refreshing beer in the world um, it's quite fizzy and to be honest if I just have a taste of this I mean I've just drank a, a can of this already to get ready for this review yeah it tastes like somebody took like a Budweiser and uh, kind of put a say 25% of the uh, well took 25% of the Budweiser out and put 25% spring water in um, and to be honest Budweiser is not my favorite beer to begin with now I know there are um, differences between countries and blah 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 so it depends what Budweiser is your kind of local variant I guess um, but yes this cause like tastes like watered down nasty UK Budweiser the 4.8% shit so we'll have another taste yeah it's not really doing anything for me um, there's not real, really any taste to it that's my main issue and if I smell it there's no real smell it I don't know it just doesn't really smell or taste like a lager should it's and it's a shame because I remember when Coors Light, I think it was um, like 4.5% at one point and it was a really nice drink and they had these really nice kind of frosted glass um, pint glasses in the pubs and everything and it was just a really nice drink to have with a combination of this refreshing taste and this nice glass kind of designed for the drink basically. Um, but now it it just tastes like piss. Um, if I was going to say what kind of game would you have this beer for, I'd say the beer is kind of a 
beer that you drink all day so I'd say it's maybe when the latest Call of Duty comes out the next one's Black Ops 3 um, so maybe if you plan on playing the game all day and drinking beer without kind of standing up and falling flat on your face through your fucking TV and Xbox One or PS4 um, then this is what you want um, the downside is you'll be pissing all day and uh, yeah you, you might feel it feel very ill by the end of the day and uh, you'll probably just want to never drink it again so um, yeah that's cause light for you another amazing beer review from uh, classic retro game room stay tuned for more in the future thanks for watching and all of that shit bye